guys, it's Lindsay. So today's video is going to be um, my January favorites for 2013, plus a little surprise at the end. So let's get started with the beauty favorites. Okay, this is a body lotion I got this Christmas and I've been using it a lot so this is my new lotion I use every night and it is the Fruits and Passions Vanilla Pineapple um, 24 hour moisturizing body butter and it just like looks like this and it is white inside. And then my perfume favorite is this other Fruits and Passions item. And it's the blue Fruits and Passions perfume. And it smells very um, beachy and kind of tropical-y and fresh. So when I wear perfume, this is the one I've been wearing lately. So yeah, I like it. And I think I'm gonna like it for a really long time because I've only used a little bit of it, so I have a lot left. But it's like a travel size, so it's not um, a full size, like, huge perfume or anything. And then for lipstick favorites, I have two. And, uh, my first one that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Color Whisper. I'm wearing it right now. It's probably worn off, but, yeah, it's just a nice, um blush color like blush nudie pink color and then I would open it and I will it looks like this so it's just a nice everyday color and the scent is very minimal kind of like it and I recommend this line of um lipsticks they are very moisturizing and similar to the Revlon lip butters and then my next favorite is of course the Revlon color stay ultimate suede in women's wear and it is this color of the packaging. The color of the packaging is the same color as the lipstick. So, it's this color right here. And I wore it all throughout like the holiday time. And um, I was wearing it very early in January and I still love it and then you guys know one of my favorite mascaras is the covergirl clump crusher but I also wanted to let you guys know that um, the water resistant kind works um, the same and really good as well just make sure that um, you have a good makeup remover because I have no problem taking off like um, things that say water resistant or waterproof. Like I, I never normally wear this but um, my mom must have gotten this kind instead for me and this works fine too. So just make sure you know how to take it off and be gentle. And, kind of like the same thing so if you're worried don't be worried it'll come off it 
eventually at least for me it comes off really easily any other way so <laughs> I don't know but yeah I really like this mascara and no clumps so it's really awesome And then now for um, TV show favorites, I just put up a recap of episode one of Switch at Birth, so you guys can go watch that if you want to go watch that. I'll have it um, linked somewhere for you guys, so make sure to watch it because I love the show. And that season is going to be great. I'm going to film more recaps and upload more for you guys so I'll keep those coming and also the fa the fosters okay first of all um Braley, Kaylee and Brandon need to get together yeah they do the fosters is so good Braley need to get together Kaylee and Brandon are awesome and I can't wait for upcoming ups episodes. And right now, um, last week was the second episode of 2014. And it's already amazing. Both those shows are just must-haves and must-see. I really recommend those, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, those shows are amazing. I don't know what I would do without my show fix on Mondays. And speaking of shows on ABC Spark, aka ABC Family for USA, um, so, um, yeah, it's on those channel, those channels, and another show, um, well, Ones on Monday nights and Wednesday nights are, um, Wednesday nights are really good too because they have, um, Baby Daddy and, um, um, Baby Daddy and Melissa and Joey and what I can say for those ones too guys is I really recommend all the shows I'm talking about because, um, yeah, they're just awesome, and on Wednesday nights, they're super funny and super cute with um, the baby Emma and um, the family. Thumbs up this video if you've seen any one of those shows. ABC Spark, ABC Family, you do it. Yeah, woohoo, I love you. If you ever see my videos, I love that network. Um, so yeah, I love those shows. And for movies, this month I watch a lot of movies online, like the free online um, site called Mega Share. You guys know. So I found like um, a few movies like last night that I'm still keeping up with. But really what I wanted to talk about is like when you when you search really far and really hard, you can find some good movies on YouTube as well. There's um my favorite movie probably on YouTube that I discovered that was new and I didn't even know it was existing was a 2012 movie, I think, or 2011 movie called Love Me. And, um, it's with Lindsay Shaw, Jean Luke Bledow, and, um, the main male character. I'm not sure who he is, but also Jean, Jean Luke Bledow is in Baby Daddy. So, check for him out there on those movies and shows. And, um, that movie is on YouTube, so... Um, it's easy to find and it's called love me and it was kind of like a love triangle between a best friend a girl and her boyfriend and kind of a love story mystery so I liked it it was kind of different but I really liked that movie this month and I liked it a lot because I've never seen it before 
And yeah, that's probably my favorite movie um, this month that I can remember and pinpoint. So now on to um, food. So, um, well, I've had a lot of bagels this month. Yeah, I'm still getting over my sniffles. I'm sorry, you guys. And when I talk for a long time, I just start, like, sniffing a lot. So, the dip called Hell of a Good Dip. And it's French onion dip. And then what I do is, like, I have a little bit of that with um, some Ruffles chips. Like, the um, bigger chips that are good for, like, dip and stuff. And... Uh, I had like um, the thin taco chips that my mom bought, but she ate them already. But she got me some regular kinds of Tostitos, and I'm going to have some more of those. Yeah, so that's it for food. And then for music, I have been loving um, Midnight Red's EP, and I love Take Me Home, and... Their whole album is really great, as well as um, I've been listening to the Pitch Perfect soundtrack again. And guys, guess what? Pitch Perfect 2 is coming out in 2015. A second Pitch Perfect movie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Tell me if you guys are excited in the comments below, or you can tweet me with... Um, Um, favorites with Lindsay, um, and, uh, we can, like, bond over that stuff because I'm so excited for another Pitch Perfect because I love this soundtrack so much, I love the movie so much, and I haven't told anyone else that. I don't think too many people know unless you're, like, online a lot and stuff but yeah Pitch Perfect 2 is coming 2015 so in like two years I'm really excited yay so yeah that's a really big favorite so now for the surprise ending so I thought about doing like um an in-depth tutorial get ready get ready with me but I kind of created like a natural Jennifer Lawrence slash my everyday look so it's kind of what she wears and what I wear together so I took inspiration from a picture on tumblr I think it was and so I kind of recreated it I don't no, really, because it's kind of similar to mine, but this is what I came up with, and, uh, so I'll have the picture, um, I'll have the picture linked below, and also I'll have it, like, when I take the thumbnail and stuff, so, yeah, you guys will get to see that picture, because... Truthfully, I love Jennifer Lawrence and just a little extra favorite, um, um, on Wednesday night, I think it was, no, on Tuesday night, I, s yeah, on Tuesday night, I saw, um, Kedjik Fire, which is all mine. Finally, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have no words, like, I love it, they did such a great job with, like, the production, and I feel like it was so similar to the book, I'm going to finish the book soon, and I'm just so excited. And what do you think will happen to, um, 
the PETA character in the next book. Like, is he still alive? Is he still there? Is he still gonna be a pres- Still gonna be a presence in the next book? Like, in the movie? I'm so confused. And so excited. I can't wait. That movie was amazing. And if you guys agree, like this video and comment your thoughts down below because I'm super excited and you guys have no idea that movie was probably my favorite movie so far I've seen in 2014 because I did get to see it in 2013 because I never went to the movies because I thought um, I just wanted to wait but I didn't know how long I would have to wait but now that I've seen it I'm like Oh, I'm so grateful I just saw it alone because, like, literally, if you've, if you've seen it in theaters, you probably feel my, feel my pain on this because it would have been so loud. And, uh, the animals attacking and all the loud screaming within the movie would have been crazy for me. I don't know. I can handle that stuff, but, like, when things are loud, it's like, I just want to not look at it. Yeah, but that movie was just flawless in different ways, and I love it. So, I will be talking about that movie probably for the next, like, two weeks. Because I'm so glad I saw it finally in 2014. So, yeah, 2014, January, you are good.